Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Today's video is related to bioinformatics and the title of my today's video is In Silico Vaccine Designing, in which I will perform codon optimization. As you all know that I have started a video series in which I am giving you a hand-on training and information that how you will design an In Silico Vaccine. So this is the part 13 of that video series. Uh, I am using this method methodology. Uh, this is the second last part, okay? Uh, uh, just giving you a quick recap, I have shown you that how you will retrieve the data, how we perform the homology check for param analysis and all other analysis. Uh, from here, the structure for modeling, we have, uh, uh, we compose the structure of the vaccine, we perform refinement, stability analysis, protein, protein docking, okay? Uh, so today, we will, I will perform codon optimization. So what basically is codon optimization and what is basically in silico cloning. So in today's video, I will show you codon optimization and in the last video, I will show you the in silico cloning. Okay. Just giving you a brief uh, introduction about codon optimization. First, I will show you that what is basically recombinant DNA technology. I am pretty sure that you all know that what is basically recombinant DNA technology. As we all know that uh, our uh, vaccine was uh, pretty good. Uh, it showed good binding affinity with the MHC uh, class receptors, class 1 and class 2. So we have to produce it, okay? We have to produce it in the lab. Uh, through. We have to re-express it uh, while using the E. coli, okay? It is just like the uh, production of insulin uh, via the recombinant DNA technology, okay? So we have got the protein, uh, the insulin, the amino acid sequence of the insulin. We can convert it into nucleotide sequence. We can get the interested plasmid for the the vector and then we can use the expression system as e coli okay so this was this all will be done in the laboratory but uh, we can also perform it via in silico techniques okay means that we can use different computational approaches okay different softwares so while using it it will give a prediction that uh, uh, you can uh, the uh, the scientists that are uh, who are working in the laboratory they can use uh, such type of vector and they can easily insert the uh, the gene of interest and it, they can easily reproduce it in the expression system okay uh, before that uh, scientists were using uh, such type of techniques but they were not knowing that which type of factor we will use because either the uh, restriction side would match or not okay so it was just uh, 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 a lengthy task but bioinformatics have uh, now uh, shortened the, uh, the time duration because we can just uh, uh, use these techniques uh, with the help of different computer softwares and then we can provide the data to the scientists and then they can produce it in the lab without any hesitation and without any loss of uh, time okay so i was just explaining that uh, now we have get uh, the amino acid sequence of our desirable vaccine our vaccine so for that uh, for uh, for performing in silico cloning first we should make sure that we perform codon optimization now what basically is codon optimization so codon optimization means that we have to insert we have to insert our gene of interest into the uh, into the uh, into the vector okay the plasmid and then we have to express it in a, sp a specific e coli okay or specific bacteria because then it will uh, it will ex uh, it will express the, uh, the our desirable protein and it will also increase its population after that uh, we can purify our uh, protein okay from our vaccine from that e coli okay so here is one important point I want to clear uh, with you people that uh, uh, cordon optimization is very much important. We have to optimize our gene of interest with the interest of the E. coli, the expression system. This means that, for example, we are expressing our gene of interest in E. coli. Okay, so uh, just comparing this E. coli expression system cordon usage with the hell with homo sapien cordon usage means that just look here to the phenyl and aline. Okay, just look here to the proline. Okay. Proline can be encoded by CCT, double CT, triple C, CCA, CCG, okay? It can also be encoded by uh, the CCT uh, of the uh, human sapien. Just look here to the ratio, okay? Uh, human are using CCT uh, up to 0.29%, okay? Means that we are considering consider it as a 1%, okay? Means that uh, a 1% is the maximum. So while using uh, CCT, uh, uh, CCT is 0.29, okay? So there is a 0.29% chance that uh, proline will be produced in the homo sapien while using the CCT uh, CCT uh, cord, okay? Now just look here, compare this 0.29 with the CCT of the E. coli. E. coli is giving, uh, this this value is basically the giving the preference to this, amin this uh, cord on, okay? So 0.16 and 0.29. So this means that homo sapien are, uh, homo sapiens uh, are, 
much interested in using the CCT proline with respect to the CC, uh, with respect to the E. coli. Okay. So, for example, if our amino acid sequence has a uh, has a uh, has a codon where CCT is there, where CCT is there. So, when while we are expressing it in the E. coli, so the CCT uh, code uh, it will not be that much expressed. Okay, because the ratio is minimum. Okay, here. This means that uh, the, the E. coli will give preference to the CCG, okay? Either CCG is also uh, a, code, a code for proline, and it is also, CCD is also a code for proline, but E. coli will use CCG because the value is high. It will prefer this type of code, okay? So, for example, in our amino, in our vaccine amino acid sequence, there is a CCT, okay? Sorry, nucleotide sequence, there is CCT. So while we perform codon optimization, so in codon optimization, what will happen? This CCT will be converted into CCG because we have considered the E. coli as expression system. So this is basically the codon optimization. So for this, uh, a software is used to or to optimize our uh, codon, and this is known as JCAT tool. Okay, just type it JCAT tool, then after that, click on the first uh, link, and this type of uh, platform will appear. Okay, so here just uh, paste your sequence. Okay. Pasting your sequence is just like uh, uh, this this type of sequence. This is our vaccine candidate sequence. Okay, so just paste it here. Uh, just paste it here and click on the protein sequence because we are using protein sequence. For here, just uh, click here and uh, just choose E. coli. Okay, I have chosen it here. E. coli cat well because we are using E. coli as strand cat well as expression system. Okay, so that's why we are selecting this one after that just uh, select this all type of uh, jacket and after that then uh, click on the restriction side and our the restriction side is e coli okay e eco eco ri okay we will consider that this one okay so this means that our uh, our this amino acid sequence will be converted into nucleotide sequence and it will be optimized according to the need of this uh, according to this uh, these uh, codons okay if there is a, a, a if there is cct so it will be converted into ccg because e coli is much interested in this type of code so this is basically codon optimization hope you understand it okay now then just submit it so these are the reasons okay these are the reasons this is now the improved dna the codes that were uh, of the interest of the e coli it was just improved okay it was converted so that ccg was converted into that other type of code because uh, E. coli is much interested in this okay after that uh, here is the value the the uh, the there is it is the cai value this means that the it is near to one okay so codon are uh, perfectly not perfectly because here are just a little bit graphs because uh, this means that uh, uh, some codes cannot be changed cannot be improved okay so it's okay the nearer to zero uh, one it is best 58 it is near to 60 60 is basically the best okay so it is also near to 60 now here is 50 okay 50 this is the normal value 50 is the normal value for gc content of e coli so this is also the best and here is the improved translation okay so what will you do after that when you get these results you can just take this graph paste it in your uh, thesis or in your research paper you can take these values in a notepad file sorry in the excel file you can use it okay in your after that, this is your gene of interest. So here, from here, you will just copy it, okay? Copy it and just uh, paste it in a notepad file. We will use it in, in the next video. In the next video, what will we perform? Basically, now here is the, it is our the DNA of interest. This code is basically our DNA of interest or the gene of interest, okay? So now, then this will be used uh, as a uh, DNA of interest, gene of interest, and it will be cloned into a specific type of vector. How we will clone it, I will show you in the next video, in the last part of this series. After that, we will provide some restriction enzymes, and then we will clone it, we will press it in the E. coli. So this codon optimization is very much important. I am again telling you, if you have any question, just tell me, okay, because uh, this is the most critical, critical part, because we are matching, we are, uh, we are adapting our gene of interest with the interest of the E. coli because uh, we are changing the course. We are not changing the amino acid, the course for amino acid. We are just looking to the interested. Yeah, either E. coli can express CCT, okay? Uh, he can, it can express proline with the help of CCT, but uh, there is something because uh, it is giving preference to, now here is CCT is 0.29, okay? So Homo sapien is giving preference to proline by using this code, but E. coli is not giving to 
by giving preference to this type of code. Okay, it is giving preference to CPG because it can uh, join, uh, it can co uncode this type of uh, code. Okay, to proline. So this was a little bit example. It is a bit complicated, but hope you understand. This means code on usage. Okay, so for this code, JCAT is used. So this was all about the today's video. If you have any question, just let me know. It is a bit critical. I'm sure that uh, I have explained it well. But if you are still confused, just let me know. I will uh, sh uh, share my uh, views in the comment box. Okay. You can also email me. I will uh, give you answer there also. Okay. So thank you very much for today. I meet you in the last video of this series. And uh, God bless you. Thank you very much.